Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld. This is our daily tarot card reading for Monday, October 14th, 2013. It's Columbus Day, and there are controversy about Columbus Day, but I'm Italian, um, and uh, it's Columbus Day. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> and that's where we'll end it. So I'm going to pull three cards, and they will appear, you know, there. I'm going to read them here. You're going to see them there. And there's two uh, qualifier cards, one main card, yada, yada, yada. You know what? Watch my other videos and you'll learn. I don't have to keep on explaining this to you people. So here we go. First card up is the Six of Pentacles, which is a cool, you know, it's it's a money card. Money, money, money. Uh, but it's about balance. You know, it has a hat like Columbus, too. So maybe that means something. Anyway, uh, it's about balance, but about laying all your finances, keeping them really balanced, having not only uh, lots of options around you, money everywhere, but not scattered, like very balanced. So this is um, a sign of, uh, well, it's a theme the accountant kind of card, but also about keeping track of all your expenses and keeping everything in balance. So it's a good day for, you know, it's a good Monday card too, reaching nice balance this time of the year. So let's put since our main card of the day though is it's uh, the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is a young, youthful energy. You know, he's coming towards you in a, uh, a gr not aggressive manner, but a really uh, forceful manner and about making things happen. So today, and he's looking towards the money, it's about Today's a good money, you know, balancing day about making things happen financially, but also about protecting your income and protecting what's yours and kind of, um, it's a bill collecting day, it's an enforcing kind of day, but um, let's see what, what's on the other side of him. And it's the uh, Seven of Cups, which has been coming around a lot. And, you know, in the time of the year that we're in right now, which is the harvest season and the harvest time of the year, we kind of have to see what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of because the Seven of Cups is sort of like the Wheel of Fortune in one sense, which is there's a lot of cups. Some have good things, some have bad things. There's so many possibilities here. And so on the one hand, you have all these possibilities of what you can and can't do with your money. On the other hand, you got the guy balancing the money. And in the middle of it, you got a really aggressive force here. So this is a good day to take in new partnerships with someone that like is good with money. Uh, it's a good day to see your accountant. It's uh, also not a good day to screw around with your money or screw around with people who uh, you owe money to uh, or invest if you have to pay for investments. Make sure you take care of this stuff today. Uh, today, also, you'll have some free time. Things might be uh, a little bit unclear as to what is worthwhile and what is not worthwhile. So use the old money factor. If it doesn't equal, if it doesn't balance the amount of what you gain from it, from what it costs, and that could be non-financial costs and non-financial gains. But today, I guess, be your own accountant today. Uh, be a little forceful about it and be willing to cut, you know, use your sword and be willing to cut away some of the things that just aren't really, I won't say making a profit, but they're not, they're out of balance. So if things are out of balance, not really making, you know, you're putting more and more money after it every month, every week goes by and you're just, it's hemorrhaging money or it's not giving you pleasure or you do all the work, you pay, you're the one that's always paying the bill at uh, dinner. It's time to say, no, we're done. <laughs> and it's been fun, but we're not doing that anymore. So let today be, I won't say it's a harsh, drastic day, day today, but let it be the, no, nah, I'm not picking up the tab anymore. Nah, you know, you're no fun, you know, we only talk about you, we don't talk about me. I feel very drained at the end of the day from dealing with this, so, you know, take that into consideration, you know, or, you know, I can make a corny reference to Columbus discovering new lands. <laughs> you know, discover new lands in your life, you know, but we're not going to go there. It's, it's, it's a clumsy metaphor, I don't like clumsy metaphors. I can be clumsy myself, but not my metaphors. So, uh, just take the day, uh, balance it out. Uh, checks and balances, find a good answer to a lot of questions. They don't have to be the best answer, but it has to be a fair answer. So at the end of the day, be fair. Make sure you're getting what you're giving. And come see me again around midnight. I'll have a new reading for tomorrow. And until then, I remain yours, Joe Netherworld.